Hi, third graders. We're going to check our work for DLA day two. Today is Tuesday and it's week 26. Okay, let's look at number one. The directions say to correct these sentences. Number one, we watch the eclipse from our backyard. Okay, so the first thing that we need to do is put a capital at the beginning of the sentence. And an eclipse, well, it depends on what kind of an eclipse they are, but there are uh, solar eclipses and lunar eclipses. That means they have to do with the sun or the moon passing in front of each other. And sometimes um, the sky can get dark if it's a certain type of eclipse. And sometimes there's a ring at this, when the moon passes in front of the sun, there's a bright ring uh, around the moon. So it looks like um, just a shiny circle in the sky. So that's what an eclipse is. So we watch the eclipse from our, we're gonna take out this word our, and this is very important. I see a lot of people doing this. It's not our backyard, it's our, O-U-R. This is a pronoun, meaning it belongs to us. Our backyard, and then a period at the end. So your sentence will look like this. We watch the eclipse from our backyard, period. Make sure you put your period down here that you put up here. Okay, if you got that right, give yourself a star. If you need to pause the video to fix it, please do. Number two, her brother plays basketball, soccer, and tennis. So the first thing, her, needs to be capitalized because it's the beginning of the sentence. And then we have three sports that her brother plays. So we're going to put a comma in between the word basketball and soccer and then between soccer and the word and. So we have three items in this list. We have basketball, soccer, and tennis. So we need one less comma, so two commas. And then a period at the end, and your sentence looks like this. Her, with a capital H, brother, plays basketball, comma, soccer, comma, and tennis. And look here, I forgot to bring the period down from here to here, so make sure you do that. If you got that right, give yourself a star. Okay, number three and four. This goes back to what we were learning in language arts uh, about right before the Christmas break. These are plural possessive nouns. So let's look at what that means. Plural means more than one more than one, and then possessive means something belongs to that person, place, or thing. So we have the room of the girls. So the room is the noun, and then the whose room is it? It's the girls' room, but notice the word girls, whoops, I should have written it over. I'm going to cross this out because I'm going to write girls first. The girls are the ones that own the room or the room belongs to them. So we put an apostrophe after the S and then we put the word room. So what do the girls have? They have a room, the room of the girls. And the apostrophe goes after the plural noun, shows possession. All right, let's look at number four. By the way, if you got that right, give yourself a star. If you need to fix the apostrophe because you didn't put it after the S, please do it now. Okay, the club of the ladies. So we have the noun, the plural noun ladies. That means more than one. And what belongs to the ladies? The club. So we can, we're going to put ladies club, and we have to put an apostrophe at the end to show that that club belongs to the ladies. So if you didn't put an apostrophe after the S, please fix it. And then give yourself a star if you got it right. Okay, number five says, combine the two sentences to make one sentence. And we worked on this yesterday. We rafted down the Okoe River. The rafting trip lasted six hours. So we have two complete sentences. We have two complete sentences. So I'm going to write down the first one. And we need to figure out how we can join these sentences together into one. Remember, a compound sentence can be 
joined together with a period and a conjunction. And a conjunction could be like the word so, and, but, because. So we rafted down the Oki River and the rafting trip lasted six hours. The rafting trip lasted six hours. And then we're going to put a period. So we join these two sentences together with a comma and the conjunction and. All right, boys and girls, if you got that right, give yourself a star. Since this number five is talking about a river and a raft, I want to see you draw yourself a river and somebody rafting down it. I'm going to make like a log raft on mine. Let's see. There's my log raft. All right, let's see what kind of river yours looks like with a raft on it. Good job for checking your work, boys and girls. We'll see you next time.